Canva is a great tool for creating simple graphics for social media. But if you've used it, you probably know how poorly its generative AI performs. On top of that, you have to generate images separately and then manually insert them as layers into the editor. Luckily, we have a solution. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. There's a tool that combines image generation with full design capabilities. You can build multi-layered designs instantly. They come out polished and ready to use. That tool is Molypix AI. And it's a real game changer for anyone creating carousels, banners, thumbnails, or any other type of graphic content. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So let's dive in and take a closer look at what this AI tool can do. Molypix tutorial. So guys, today I'll walk you through an incredible design tool called Molypix AI. It's the world's first AI-powered platform that lets you create multi-layered images and edit them effortlessly using artificial intelligence. No more need for professional designers or design skills. With Molypix AI, you can create posters, invitations, LinkedIn banners, postcards, images, logos, and more. Let's go ahead and access the dashboard to start generating. Here you can write a prompt to generate your design. You can use pre-made scenes, browse trending business posters, check out available templates, remix them, or click go to edit and start editing. So guys, today, Let's generate something new. I could use a preset scene, but I prefer to work with a prompt. I'll use the built-in design GPT and purposely give it a very rough prompt, which I'll then enhance. So I typed a simple prompt in plain language and the enhancer automatically turned it into a detailed description. It's important that you can still adjust every part of this prompt. It's like answering follow-up questions, but in a single editable field. Super convenient and really practical. Let's hit generate. It'll cost us four tokens. Just a few minutes. Let's wait. And here we go, my friends. Our posters are successfully generated. You can select any poster you prefer. Let's go with the first one. You can see the prompt we used to create it. Remix the design, download it, or head straight to edit mode. In the editor, you'll see that the image is built from layers. Just like in any image editor, you can adjust those layers. For example, you can edit the text, change the title, or make other tweaks. There's also an AI editor that gives you options like Generate Similar, Upscaler, Magic Erase, Magic Edit, and Expand. To use one of these tools, just select the layer you want to work with and pick the desired AI editing tools. Let's try Generate Similar. You can adjust the similarity level and make it more creative. In just a few seconds, you'll get the new version. Or try Upscaler. That one simply boosts the resolution. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Now, my friends, we'll leave the editor for the moment and try a new Molypix AI feature. It's called Brand Kit. This is where you can create your own brand. Just enter your brand or business name. Choose the colors you'd like to associate with your brand. I'll go with this shade here. You can also enter a hex code or upload your own logo. Once everything is set, click Save Brand Kit. 
and your brand is ready to go. Now we can use this branding in our designs. For example, in posters. Here we can already see our brand kit. And now we'll use it to create a poster. Let's enter. Create a modern and vibrant marketing poster for Smart Content Lab, showcasing Create Smarter, Not Harder. You can tweak the prompt or go with it as is. Let's stick with the original version for now. We'll wait just a couple of minutes. And here's what we get. As you can see, the dominant tones in each poster match the color we selected in the brand kit. The posters fully reflect the prompt we entered. You can pick any of the four results, edit, download, or remix them. Let's get back to Molypix. You can delete anything you don't need by simply selecting the area you want to remove. For example, let's highlight an image on the screen, adjust the brush size, and use the Erase tool to mark the area we want to change. Then just hit Generate. In a few seconds, we'll get the result and we can view it side by side with the original. Honestly, I prefer the previous version, so I'll stick with it. Next up, we have Magic Edit, a tool that lets us regenerate any part we are not happy with. Again, I'll highlight the screen area. And before hitting Generate, I'll specify what I want to see. I'll type in iPhone home screen. That's the new visual I want to see. Let's wait a few seconds. And here's the result. Still, I don't think I'll use it either. With the Expand tool, we can also change the aspect ratio and reshape the canvas. You can describe your changes in the prompt field as well. Just like in a standard editor, you can add text, change fonts, insert titles, subtitles, or body text. You can also upload your own media if you want to swap out any images and insert design elements or images from the built-in Unsplash library. Unsplash also offers backgrounds and you'll see all your layers listed on the right. You can hide them, lock them, or delete them. Everything is fully manageable. There's also a resizer tool that lets you quickly adapt the image to different presets. You can edit every layer individually, and you'll find tools like masks, cropping, and the same AI editors we used earlier. You can even use the Remove BG feature to cut out backgrounds from your images. You can adjust the position, set the opacity, lock or duplicate elements, or remove them all together. This is Mollypix AI, a powerful AI-powered editor that makes working with visuals faster and easier. Final thoughts. Okay guys, time to sum things up with some final thoughts. In just a couple of minutes, we were able to create some truly impressive designs. The ability to regenerate specific elements in seconds is remarkable. It really feels like magic. You brush over an area and the tool gives you a fresh version again and again until you're satisfied. I also appreciated the range of features you can use. While Molypix lets you create designs in just a few clicks, it also gives you the flexibility to fine-tune the results with more precision. So guys, what stood out to you the most about this editor? If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.